Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Relics, and today we're going to continue our Fire Emblem Path of Radiance heart, our mode Iron Man run with Chapter 19 and Trusted. So if you guys have been watching, uh, I did a little bit of dialogue in the last, at the end of the last video. I'm hoping to make this one a two chapter video compared to the last one. As I mentioned before, uh, as these, as the game is going along, these chapters are getting bigger and the battles are uh, ending up being longer so we may end up with some one chapter videos or if we can try and see if we can space out the time evenly and make it two chapters so we'll see um, so for starters um, let's go over our supports if we have any uh, doesn't look like we do probably just catch ups from other ones all right um, I don't think we've got any skills that we really need to assign, right? Not really. So we're good there as well. Um, so yeah. I don't think we need to give anyone EXP. Me? The only one we really would give EXP right now is Mist, because she's still a cleric. Um, level 17 cleric, but she transforms, she'd be a lot more useful. Um... Other than that, I think everyone's pretty good, honestly. So, we'll see. I'll think about it. I'm going to do some outfittings just real quick, just to save on time, and I'll be right back. So, actually, I, I totally forgot that <laughs> I already did it at the end of the last video. So, we're actually good. Uh, let's leave the base. <laughs> I totally forgot that we were just going to come right in, do the mission, move on. So, yeah. Let's move on. So happens when you don't play for a couple days, right? So General, there look to be a lot of enemy soldiers ahead, mostly Dan, but there are some crows of from Kilvis as well. More than our last fight? Yeah, there's a lot, but the most troubling thing is that King Kilvis is with them. The Crow King himself is cooperating with Dan. Yep, and compared to the other crows, the king is in the class by himself. Obviously he's no match for our king. But anyway, you should be you should move carefully. Entire unit under the command of King Kilvis. I think that bodies uh, I think that bodes ill for us. The outcome of the battle hinges on how we deal with them. Kilvis soldiers, hmm. As fellow bird tribe lagoos, what can you tell us about them? Please don't lump us together with those carry on birds. We're we're not partial to the crows. As you know, we are outmanned by the Dane troops. Is there any way to get the ravens to withdraw? That would be a tremendous help. Well, suppose I could go meet with the King Kilvis if I had to. I don't think that my speaking to him is going to make a difference though. If you like, we will try, but don't expect anything to come of it. <laughs> no matter the circumstance, I would never again speak to a crow. No matter what we decide, sitting here like this is giving the enemy more time to prepare. You're right, come on, let's move. Alright, so, we do need Janet for this chapter, so we do need to make a space for him. Um, 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 uh. So let's go back up. Who do we not need? Honestly, let's take out Titania. I think we are probably going to just drop her at this point. I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, she is ended. She did end up weaker than all the other paladins to this point. Um, she just can't keep up. So we'll see. We'll see. If there is space for her, obviously we will, but for this chapter we do need Jennifer Lee, and he will help us talk to Nasala. Um, we are also going to use the Holy Guard, so we need Kenneth to call in the Holy Guard and race him to help, you know, call in extra bodies. Uh, on this side we do need Jill, actually. That's fine. Uh, there are some priests on the field, we can steal their men's. I think that's all they have to be honest, yeah, so it's not, it's not like we're stealing much. So Volk's in just because he's he's pretty strong anyway, so it doesn't really matter if he's out or not. And he's already level 20, so actually I really don't need him here, so I'll keep him in the back. Uh, Soren's there, we need to get Soren's magic ranks up to seize the fire and lightning that is. Um, that way he can use siege tomes from range. And otherwise that's it, so let's just have our... Cavaliers go in front, and let's just start. I'm gonna save just in case my bug, my bug, my game bugs out. 
Bing. Sir, the Crimean army has arrived. I hope they are prepared to pass into oblivion, for this will be their final resting place. Crimean stragglers joined with the Joined with an army on loan from Benyon, I've even heard they betray her in their midst, and yet they still march on. What an odd group, but as long as Kilva stands on the side of Dayan, they have no future. Ah, I suppose they're just unlucky. Can we buy your services, please? <laughs> it appears the enemy has spotted us. Well, a group this large is hard to miss. How will you proceed? No tricks, nothing fancy. We'll hit them from the front, fast and hard. I'm sure you're already aware of this, but if you don't do something about Kilbis, you're at a disadvantage. Yes, I've heard about the Ravens, but even so, it's not as if we can turn tail and run away. Now that I think on it, King Kilbis and Prince Racing used to be close friends. Did you ask him to speak to the king? He was most empathetic in his refusal. It seems that Nysala was responsible for Racing's capture at the hands of Duke Tannis. I can't really blame him. And the Hawks? They too are of the bird tribes. Surely some connection can be found there. They weren't exactly. They weren't very excited about the suggestion. You could command them to do it. There's an antagonism between the tribes that we don't understand. I'd rather not force the issue. Trying to coerce them into into it would be unfair. I will let them do as they please. That is so very like. However, giving orders that that are unpopular is often necessary when one is in command. And maybe so, but I only do things the best I know how, my own way. Come, it's time to go. All right. Alright, so we got some ballistas, as you guys can see, these ranges are pretty big. Um, we need to stay out of their range. Um, in the meantime, let's call in for reinforcements to start. Everybody up. Alright, so. Alright. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he can hit right here. Uh, this is his range. So we need a holy guard to go right there. So this turn, I will just have them move up. I'll probably just move them up right there. I don't know why I'm doing that. Oh, that's right, because I can't target. So, yeah. Kind of need them to move that way and then go up. So maybe put them like right here. Perhaps. I don't know. I'll think about that. But we'll wait there for now. Alright, what do we got here? Iron Blade. Killer Axe. Ooh, gotta watch out for that Killer Axe, in fact. Diagonal of the tree. I wonder if he'll move first. So we'll just move all of our guys up for the time being. I forgot to give Astrid a sword again. My goodness. What's wrong with me? Okay, so we'll just leave Janeth right here for now. And then of course... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Jill can still go up here. What do we got? We got Javelin, Short Spear, and Javelin, right? So... I could just move up, I think. I should be fine. And be able to use my Hand Axe, right? How much do you events? 19. Yeah, they won't do too much damage to me. So I'll be fine. So I'll move all the way, I suppose. I'll wait actually one turn. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm a little contradictory here. I'll wait a turn here, because uh, the Holy Guard are going to come in, and if they take the kills, that will be a little bit disappointing. So let's do that.
Oh my god, my Ashley got hit. That's amazing. Getting hit by the sword is not surprising, but the axe, that's actually surprising. Target Kieran. Tink. No damage. Alright, so the sword guys are just charging up the middle. Boy, you got hit by a bird. Okay. Um, let's check our ranges again. Alright, so now that we are there in range, I cannot target anything on this hill, so this is where... If we target here, Nisala may move into range, because it is diagonal-ish of that. Um, at the same time, he may not. So maybe what should we should do is let them roam for now. These guys should target the Holy Guard and not Janif. So I think I'll take that chance. We just gotta make sure we kill all the other enemies. Such as this guy. Um, which doesn't seem to be the case here. So maybe we do this first. Uh, yeah. 15 defense. Yeah, these, these Pegasus Knights should be the prime targets. Hopefully, I to be honest, honestly, I'm a little scared about that. Oops. level up to five one resistance lovely that's what I want to see um, so right now the holy guard are all nine movements so no matter where they go as long as they can get in range of Nisala I will be able to talk to him with Jenna and we should be fine um, Soren I need you to kill because you uh, need some exp or training I mean Oscar chip down the Axe user, or I could have Kieran chip down the axe user. A little bit better there. Alright, let's have Soren. Let's do Elf. Let's just do Fire. guys are transforming just yet. No, they are not. So that's actually good for us, where we can uh, do other things, such as shooting down this raven.
Ooh, you know what? These guys might go after them, huh? I need them to go after the archer. I wonder if that's going to be an issue, to be honest. Because right now, only this one can hit the archer. Well, I, I guess that's fine, because I only need one, so that should be fine. Hopefully. Just in case. Alright, let's see what happens. Perfect. And that's totally fine. So, Nasala should move up and I should be able to talk to him on my next turn. Killing my my cannon fodder. Unfortunately, this is going to take a couple kills away from me. Come on, Nisal. You're a boss. You should be moving first. Bosses always move first. <laughs> In other games. There he goes. Oh ho! Black wings. Among humans, these are considered bad omens, are they not? Then take these omens as, a, as fact and let them herald you to the afterlife. That falcon had no chance. Alright, so we're clear. Now I can talk. You! King Killus, you ache stealing snake. One of Tavarin's flock, eh? You are his eyes, if I'm not mistaken. It's not enough that you stole the White Prince to humans. Now you're fighting against the goose. You hawks rescued Prince Racing, didn't you? So everything worked out in the end. What's the problem? I'd like you to repeat those words to the prince's face. Grayson is here. Here? Why? He supports the Crimean army. The barrack leading this army helped him to escape Serenus' force. Helped him? Are you saying a human came to the aid of Grayson? A Laguz? Yes, and he rescued prince Princess Leanne too. Leanne is alive? Go play the fool. You know the life of the forest has returned. That was their power at work. I see. That's how the forest. Of course. Listen up, Crow. You need to fly over there and talk to the prince. If you don't do it, I'm going to know that I'm I'm going to know that you are really are the enemy and report that back to King Tavern. Think it over. Yes, hmm. What to do? All right, and to finish off, we can just use Jill to attack this guy. Make sure he dies. That way the ballista cannot fire anymore. Big issues, they make sure they saw us in range to talk while being safe. So, in fact, right here is actually safe enough. There we go. We just need to kill everyone else. So now we, the Holy Guard did their job, so I could send them away.
Karen always hits his targets. Ike, level up. Please be a good one. We really need the levels. Four stats, alright. I need strength and defense, though. I have the night ban on, and I'm not getting strength and defense. It's terrible. I need that. Bad. <laughs> Alright. Should be good. Raisin! Hey Raisin, look at you. You look sharp, kid. Go away. Oh, so you can't talk. You, how dare you show your face to me? Well, I have been called Raisin before, so some have gone as so far as to say I'm shameless. Come on, at least let me give you a reason. Be gone, my ears are close to you. Raisin, we're friends, aren't we not? Oh yes, friends. In fact, we're such good friends that you sold me to that foul bloated man. I didn't really sell you, besides, I plan on rescuing you right away. You were just so impatient and flew away on your own. So, are you blaming me? No, no. Well, maybe. I mean, it was I who was in the wrong. On all accounts. No one is hurt in the end. Come on. Smooth, things, smooth those ruffled feathers, alright? Leanne is alive. Yes, Tabarin's tenant told me. That's wonderful news. When he sees her face, I'm sure King, King Laura, Laura Zio... Lorisdale will begin to feel better at once. Things are really looking up, aren't they, Rayson? I suppose that if you hadn't deceived me and taken me to the forest, we might not have discovered her, so I will forgive you just this once. Rayson, oh, that's with conditions. Will you accept them? What are they? Pull your troops from this battle, now, and never again enter combat against your fellow Lagoos. Oh, come now, Rayson. That's asking too much. What will you do then? Will you continue to fight the Kremlin army to which I am in service? Very well, you win, Rayson. I'll leave and take my soldiers with me. However, I cannot say what the future will hold or bring. I have the fate of my nation to consider, after all. Very well. So we're friends again? Come to kill us for a visit, will you? Know that you will be so pleased. I'll do that. When the war is over, Leanne and I will both come. Oh, and as for Tabarn, I'll speak with him. There's no need for you to worry. Thank you. Very well. Watch yourself. This war... You know. This is war, you know. Listen to me, Dark Wings. We of Killers are leaving. Turn at once and head for home. Alright. And a couple of them are going to get shot. And because they get shot, I think they will try and get healed first. Like that one, who just got shot. Cool. Alright. Okay. We have one more ballista over here. I almost forgot about him. Uh, Soren, let's kill the soldier. Really need Soren to just get his magic up. Uh, where's Vol? You can go steal that man. <laughs> heal the bird, he'll leave. I don't, have to, don't worry, I don't have to worry about him. And I think you get your bonus XP for every bird that leaves. Alright, let's just form a wall of archers here. 
Let's attract all the enemies. I don't think the boss moves, so we should be fine. If he does move, oh, well, not too bad. <laughs> I guess I built this hand axe for nothing this turn or this chapter because unfortunately I can't use it against these guys. They're going to attack everyone else who doesn't have range. Which is fine, that's whatever. Swarm a wall. Kill us has betrayed us? I think abandon would be more accurate, but idiot! It's the same thing! Rah! Curse subhumans, we should never have trusted them. It's interesting they still attack Janov, even though he's pretty strong. So, questionable to why they're doing that still. I think that they should be weaker, technically. Alright, so that's all the birds. Yeah, by technical means, she is weaker than him. That's quite interesting that they still continue to attack him instead. Alright, well, I'll just kill this one. Get him out of my hair. Next turn, I'm probably going to need Tenth to help me take care of this guy since he uh, insists on attacking Genov. Um, in the meantime, it looks like these guys don't move either. It's kind of weird. I guess we'll just keep moving up, to be honest. If they still insist on not moving, then we'll just kill them on our next turn. Fire train. That's so weird. Is the objective to kill the boss? It is to kill the boss. Okay, so we'll just make this quick then. Um, so Joe will kill this wyvern. And honestly, we'll just go and kill the other guys if we can. Otherwise, we'll just shoot down the boss real quick because there's no point in prolonging our battle. Sonic Sword and Silver Sword.
Can I steal his stuff? I actually don't know. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna see if we can steal his stuff. I don't know if I can or not, but we shall see. Um, I'll just use a physic real quick. I don't know if that guy can get a critical on Void. I might as well not take that chance. Get some good EXP while we're at it. Yeah, we'll spend a little bit extra time to see if we can steal his inventory. If we can't, that's no problem. Get a couple more hits in as well. Uh, let's see. Can't. Oh, you know, my inventory is full. No, it's not. Okay, so, can we steal? No, we cannot. Um, I guess. I don't know if it is dictated by speed still, because he is still faster than me. Um, I thought it was supposed to be different in this game. Could be wrong. Uh, this guy cannot damage Soren though, so that's kind of funny. Uh, we'll kill his lackeys first, why not? They just use the lance up. I'm just gonna get rid of it. No point in keeping this one. Oh my god, I don't kill him. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Pretty strong. Dip. My sword is lightning. Do you think you can follow its dance? Oh my god, sword got a dip. Oh my god, and he got a crit. Oh my god. <laughs> the shame. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. But we'll s that's good. <laughs> Magic defense resistance. Nice. Love that defense. It just skips to the Volk? That's weird. You wanted to see me? You waited a long time. Take this. It's the gold you Did I miss something? Did my game just skip stuff? That's weird. You waited a long time for this. Take this. It's the gold you were promised. Finally, scrapped it, scraped it together, huh? I'll gladly accept it. Aren't you going to count it? There's no need. I'll trust you. Alright then, I'll take what was promised. The report you wrote for my father. There isn't one. What? There is no report. Never was. You lie to me? You explained my need to know more th about my father? There is something I must tell you. However, it cannot be written down. It is too great of a secret for that. Your father told me to wait until I thought you were mature enough to hear it. And then t tell you myself. Mature? Then what was the, the 50,000 gold for? Ah, the gold? That was my idea. I thought it would be a good way to test how resourceful and responsible you were. Get started. I want to hear it all. I spent a long time as Grail's hired shadow. A long time. I remained hidden from from sight in case the day ever arrived that I needed to fulfill my contract. All that time for one job. What was it? If Grail were to go berserk, I was to stop him. I was to take his life. What? Actually, there's one other thing. 
If Guerrero were to were ever slain by his pursuers, I was to watch over his son and tell him Grail's secret at an appropriate time. That was my job. Berserk, what are you talking about? Why would you have to kill my father? Because of Loran's medallion. What medallion? What are you talking about? The medallion your sister carries. Huh? That old bronze thing? I thought it was just a keepsake of my mother's. Are you telling me that it's something more? The girl told me it was an object of great peril, and nothing more. I did some investigating on my own though, and what I discovered surprised me. Tell me. I obviously had a skip in the game for some reason. I don't know why that is, because usually there's the end game. You know, the enemy's like, oh, we gotta get out of here. So something obviously happened to my game that skipped it. So I do apologize for that dialogue missing. Um, but here we are. Loran was one of the Heron clan, an ancestor of our Prince Rayston, who carried with him a bronze medallion. Long, long ago, a band of heroes defeated an evil god in prison therein. An evil god? Do you think this is funny? You are joking, aren't you? Fortunately, I'm not. And I have no idea how the cursed thing came to be in Grail's possession. That being said, I do know that men who hunted your father were actually seeking the medallion. Why they wanted it and what they planned to do with it, just thinking, just gives me the chills. I'm finding all of this a little hard to believe. You said the medallion was an object of great peril, didn't you? Then why would my father allow Miss to carry it around? That doesn't make any sense. It's because she can carry it safely. Actually, she's the only one who can. If you want proof, think back. Have you ever once touched it? No, I haven't. A long time ago, I remember reaching out for it while Miss had it in her hand. My father scolded me harshly. After that, I assumed it was my sister's alone, and I never reached for it again. Compared to other people, the balance within your sister is extremely strong. Your mother, it seems, was the same. That's why they could bear it safely. The medallion is a, a strong poison. It takes the worst aspects of a po person and magnifies them thousandfold. Grail touched it only once and it drove him to complete madness. So that's what you meant when you said he went berserk. That's right. Bjork and Lugus are made up of two forces, balance and chaos. In this, there is no difference between us. It is the proportion of balance to chaos that determines how much the medallion affects a person. In that sense, it predicts how much harm that person might do. Your father was once one of the premier swordsmen of this generation. That day, after he touched the medallion, 20 soldiers had come for him. 20 highly trained killers. Your father barely broke a sweat cutting them down. Then, he began attacking his neighbors. Those who had taken him in, concealed his identity, and called him a friend. He slew them one by one until your mother rushed in, thinking only to save her husband from himself. It was over in an instant. Your mother grabbed the medallion from his hand and stepped away from him. They say she smiled as, she, as he pulled his sword from her breast and forgave him as her life's blood spilled into the street. My father? Killed my mother? No, that can't be. It was a medallion. Its power is too great for any man, even one of your father's caliber. Me? You? If either of us touched it, I'm certain that we'd both have been consumed by madness. When your father regained his senses, he tracked me down. It seems he heard rumors of me some time before. He said he had need of someone like me. Closed mouth, skilled, and most importantly, willing to do any sort of work. Of course, after hearing what he wanted me to do, I turned him down. Guerrero was once a famed general. He was Sir Gawain, one of Dan's four riders, and I recognized him at once. There was no chance someone like me would ever be able to stop him. But you took the job anyway. Why did you change your mind? Guerrero had lost his wife, and his grief was overpowering. To keep anything like that from happening again, he crippled himself. He slashed the tendons in his sword hand so that he could not wield a sword again. I took the job only because he had become someone my skill could handle. And even then, he was still far stronger than most men. I don't know what to say. That is Grail's secret, as I know it. Oh, I, I now entrust you to the responsibility of seeing that medallion does not fall into the wrong hands. Your sister must keep it. As my father lay dying, he told me to forget everything and live in peace. What did he mean? He didn't want you to lose yourself and go hunting for revenge, I suppose. He was killed much, much sooner than he expected me. So my father's dying wish was for me to protect the medallion? If I can do that, everything will be alright? I believe so. At the very least, that must take precedent over everything else. I understand. Oh, one last thing. What is it? Do you want to hire me? In the event that you go berserk someday. 
If we make a deal now, you won't have to worry about it anymore. As for the payment, I can take it out of the 50,000 gold you just gave me. What do you say? Sure. Please. That's a wise decision, and in that case, I no longer need to conceal my true identity. Huh? Huh? I'm not a thief. I'm an assassin. Because <laughs> that makes a difference. <laughs> I'm not really a thief. I'm an assassin. From now on, I'll take any job you've got, no matter how dirty. Cool. Father, mother, why? Bonus EXP! Yay! Alright. And that was a decently quick chapter, so we have time for the second one for sure. The kingdom of Dane lies on the northernmost edge of Tellius. Its coastline is bathed in icy currents of the northern sea, and frigid winds howl inland and with terrible ferocity. As a result, Dane riches are raw and brutal. Ice and snow scor score the land, leaving frozen scars in their wake. Through their blizzards, General Ike and Crimean army press ever forward. Banyans and Peril Senate may have let Crimea choose, but even they doubt that the army can successfully fight off Dane. Yet somehow, Ike and company defy all odds and capture victory after victory. Embracing the both Princess and Lynch's dream of a liberated Crimea and the tragic history of his parents, Ike marches in grim silence. Chapter 20 Defending Taurega. This can only mean one thing the enemy knows exactly how we are going to move. With your permission, I'll begin an investigation to see if there's anyone suspicious among the troops. Ike? Ike, are you alright? Uh, oh, yes. Sorry, what, what is it? Nothing. I was just giving you the standard update. Should I put it off till later? No, sorry, but can you start over from the beginning? I'll pay attention to this time. Understood. Good morning, you two. What's wrong, Ike? You look so sleepy. I've had a lot on my mind. I meant to sleep last night, but I was up thinking. Before I knew it, it was morning. Really? I never thought I'd hear that. Ike didn't sleep because he was thinking? What if Storm will start being polite? Listen, Titania, can I just... Brother Ike! Oh, brother Ike. Brother, Ike, what's wrong, miss? What am I going to do, Ike? The medallion's gone. What? It's gone? No. What am I going to do? It's my only memento of mother. Did you drop it? Or put it somewhere and forget? Something like that? No, I always carry it with me. I would never lose it. I had it before I went to bed last night. It vanished while I was sleeping. Don't cry. It's not your fault. But, but, I said don't cry. I'll find it, alright? Alright, sorry. Are you serious? You are to begin immediately. Yet, that's General Petrine. If we do this, Dane will suffer. It's for the good of the country. Besides, it's only one territory. It's not mauling like an old woman. I hear you, and yet, if the goal is to merely stop the crime army, this is not necessary. The strength of my troops will suffice to... The last lady who told me that ended up in a, cor a corpse pile. Now listen to me and listen well. No matter how passionate you are when you tell me you're defeat Crimea, I'll never pin my hopes on a bunch of foreigners. All you have to do is stop their forward progress, that's all. My plan will accomplish this. General Petrine, do you really think so little of us? It's true that we were born in Banyan, not Dayan, but my man and I have been loyal to this country for 18 years. We have spread, we have spared no effort to learn all the proper manners and customs of the land. But now, after all that, to be dismissed as a bunch of foreigners? No one asks how long you've lived here. Want to know why? Because no one cares. Certainly not me. Where were you born, huh? Where were you raised? Ha! This country doesn't need squatters like you. The only people Dane can count on is in times of crisis are Danes themselves. Everyone else is just gutter leavings. So we're useless. Is that what you're saying? You tell me, migrant. Why is it that your unit, which was trained to be an elite royal guard, is here patrolling this hick infested backwater? The answer is clear to me. How about you? I. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a, am I offending you? Well, here's your chance to show us your worth. Halt Crimea's advance. If you are as skilled as you claim, you should be able to limit the damage to this bare minimum. Should you not? Huh. <laughs> Angry has a good look for you. I look forward to seeing the results of your work. Get going, Outlander. General Sharam, must we truly go through with this? It's such a horrific act. 
It's only recently that the citizens hereabouts have even come to trust us. We have no choice but to obey. It's as the woman says. The only thing we can do is ensure that Crimean army is defeated as soon as possible. General! Open the floodgates! Do it now! Ike, just a bit more. Would you mind hearing my report of our last battle? Uh, sure, go ahead, please. Very well. We earned 70,000 gold. Cool. <laughs> so now I have I have 116k in gold. Oh my goodness. There are no deaths. No casualties. Woo! Of course. Alright. We got some info. A woman! Yoo-hoo! You there, young man. I have business with the general of this army. Would you convey a message? Who are you? Who am I? What kind of low-born greeting is that? My name is Khalil, and I am a first-class first class mage. And what would a first-class mage want with this army? What's your problem? You look as if you don't believe me. Well, I suppose I can't hold that against you. I mean, it's not often you find beauty like this, coupled with intelligence like mine. But it's true, nonetheless. A mage, huh? Well, I guess you can never have too many mages lying around. Oh, and as a bonus, I'm quite skilled with a knife as well. Beauty, brains, and brawn. Ah. <sighs> The goddess has seen fit to put the abilities of three people into one delectable package. Sounds like favoritism, doesn't it? Oh, hello. Um, hello? Are you listening to me? There's a beautiful woman talking. Yeah, the point is that you want to join the Crimean army, right? How much are you planning to charge? Well, aren't you a little businessman? Let's see. How does free sound? Suspicious. What's the catch? I like my fees to be based on performance. Watch how I do in comment and make me an offer. Depending on what it is, I'll decide whether or not to grace you with my assistance. You're not lacking confidence, are you? Of course not. I already told you. I'm a first class mage. Alright, you're in. What? Are you allowed to make decisions like that on your own? Perhaps I should speak to the general. I am the general. What? <laughs> Raisin? Raisin, could you come down here for a moment? What do you need? I've got something I want to ask you about. If I can help, I will. Your ancestors. Forget it, it's nothing. What? Is something wrong? I, I apologize, please let it go. It seems like something important has happened, but if you do not want to discuss it, that is your right. However, if this weren't a battlefield, your secret might not be safe. Please take care in the future. What do you mean? We are the Heron clan. If we choose to, we can read the thoughts of others. Seriously? However, this power is only available to us in a calm and peaceful environment. Here in this desperate maelstrom of chaotic emotion, it avails me not. The energy here is warped and distorted. You know, now that you mention it, Rayson, are you feeling sick? You're so pale that it's hard to tell, but I think your face looks more wan than usual. Pay it no mind. I'm fine. You got nothing to prove, so why don't you stay off the battlefield for a while? Ike, I'm fine. I promise. Please, do not give me special treatment. As far as giving you special treatment goes, I don't really have a choice. I promised King Phoenicius I, would, I wouldn't push you too hard. If anything were to happen to you, I'd be at war with Dane and the Bird Clans at the same time. I see. I came to repay my debt, but I'm really just being a burden. That was not my intention. Hold on a moment, who said anything about you being a burden? I can't engage in combat, so I'm nothing more than an obstacle in the field. Rayson, no, that's absurd. Don't under don't you understand how useful your abilities are? No one else can do the things that you can. You're irreplaceable. So if you're not feeling well and try to do too much, you may not be there when we really need you. I'm of use to you then? That's what I've been trying to tell you. I I we depend on you, and that's why I need to make sure you're you stay healthy. In that case, I wouldn't mind taking a short break, but you can call me anytime. I'll come right away. I got it. Cool. Uh, supports? Any supports? Probably not. Tanith and Rayson? I might as well. You have a moment, Prince Rayson. Oh, you're the Apostles? Yes, Your Highness. My name is Tanith, and I lead Banyan's Holy Guard of Pegasus Knights. What brings you here? Wanted to let you know that the Apostle has ordered me to keep you safe. She is quite sincere in her desire to help. She seeks redemption for what happened all those years ago, does she? I have no need for bodyguards. I can protect myself. I mean no disrespect, Your Highness, but even the youngest child in Banyan knows the Heron clan ab ab abhors fighting. If you refuse to fight, how will you protect yourself? That is my own concern, not yours. I beg to differ. I am under imperial orders. I cannot abandon my duty, and so your safety is very much my concern. Your bureauic orders are, do not affect me. I have wasted enough time with you. Now excuse me. His body seems so frail, but his will is strong. He's not going to make it easy for me to protect him. What am I to do? Alright, cool. Um, so yeah. 
Just like before, I'm going to do some outfitting on my own, and then uh, we'll continue the video. Alright, so we're back. Um, just real quick, here's Khalil, she's level 6 Sage. Uh, clearly, um, as you guys can see, my Soren, for example, is level 7. He has 20 stats, 4 of them in fact. Khalil does not even have 1. So, um, as a unit, she is no use to me. The reason why she's good is because she has B in all magics. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to use her because there's just no points. I have Soren for that. Uh, but I do want her Meteor Tome, which is great to have. So it's amazing to see that. Uh, so now I have both Bolting and Meteor. But I still can't use both because my magic is only D in each. Which is unfortunate. But they should be there soon. And I also gave Soren uh, L Fire instead of his regular fire. Um, again, some other changes. Jill, I made another Hand Axe. Uh, same one. Obviously the name changed because... The other one I deleted the whole thing, this one I didn't. So they're the same axe though. Um, she's just going to pretty much do all the work uh, just so we can make this chapter a little bit faster. Obviously here's my new assassin level 1 Volk. Um, obviously not too much a big difference from what it was before. Biggest thing being now he has 20 speed. Um, we need to get that defense up though. Kind of wish that was a little bit higher. Uh, in fact, you know what? We'll actually switch with... Oops. We'll switch with uh, Soren because he no longer needs the Wyvern Band. So, both can use the Wyvern Band, Soren can just use the Paladin for the heck of it. Um, and I finally gave Astrid the sword. <laughs> Otherwise, everyone else should be good to go. Alright. Oh, and I wanted to transform Mist, actually. So, I am going to give her all the EXP she needs to level up all the way to 20 and transform. Level 18! Magic, speed, and resistance. Alright, I'll take that. Level 19! There you go! That's the level I'm looking for. It's level 20. Cool. And let's transform her. And now she has a horse, yay! Level 1 Valkyrie! Beautiful. Alright, so here's my level 1 Mist. Not, not bad, We've got 20 magic. Speed, it's okay. Uh, her Void ability is not bad as well. Uh, her Bow Rhythm is actually down right now. Um, defense. And HP still suck, but hey, that's not really important. What's important is that she has some magic, which she has the mage band, so her magic should have been higher, but unfortunately that didn't happen either. But now as a Valkyrie, she should be better. She also gets D and sword, but she won't do any fighting. Honestly, I don't need her to do fighting. Uh, the only sword she would be able to, to use in the long run would be the Sonic Sword, which it really doesn't matter. Because I want her to heal, so... Uh, there's no point in using Iron Scrolls on her, so let's just ignore that fact. Um, although I don't think she can get skills. Oh, she gets soul. Okay, never mind. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's leave. So we're good now. My lord Ike, were you able to find the medallion? No, it's gone. I fear that Dane may have somehow stolen it. What? Is such a thing possible? I don't know to what degree, but there can be no questioning Dane's involvement. Is medallion special? Yes. Oh yes. I beg your pardon? What is it? My question may have touched a sensitive area. Oh no no. It's not that I don't want to discuss it with you personally. I just can't really talk about it to anyone. It's a private matter. Ah, I see. Ike. What is it, Oki? I hear the sound of rushing water just ahead. A lot of it. Rushing water? According to the map, there's a large river up ahead. That must be what you hear. This is unnatural. Warped. It is not the sound of a normal river. General Ike, sir, we've got trouble. The road ahead is blocked by water. What? How can that be? Perhaps the local river has flooded. The whole region is soaking wet. Is the road completely impassable? 
Uh, no, sir. We can move forward, but the water is turning the ground to mud. The water is still flowing at a tremendous rate, sir. This is going to cut back our speed uh, dramatically. This is the work of Dan. They thought to impede our progress in order to gain some time for themselves, and they've succeeded. Last, is there nothing we can do? Well, if they were able to flood the road only when we approached, there must be the floodgates in the area. So if we can close them, we'll shut off the flow of water, right? Makes sense. Let's get some scouts looking for gates. What's that? Hey, if you're looking for something, leave it to me. I am the Hawk's King's Eyes, after all. What do you mean? These peepers of mine can see for miles and miles. They're quite handy. It would be a shame not to use them. Is that some Lagoo's power? You're a hawk with the eyes of the hawk? <laughs> it, beats your fan it beats your fantastic wit. My eyesight isn't a racial ability. It's just my own natural talent. Heck, my pal Oki has ears that can hear grass growing on the other side of the country. I see. Well, then the job's yours. Do you think you can find the floodgates? I just look for some openings with a lot of water pouring out, right? Yeah, I can handle that. Talregar Floodgates. The Crimean army is here. All troops, combat formations. Hit them fast and hard. Can't let this battle drag out. So those are the floodgates. If we can get them closed, the water will seed in about 12 hours or so. Alright, let's get going. Alrighty, so... As you guys can see, we are short two more units this chapter. Um, that being said, we don't need Tanith, so we need so I'll bring Astrid. Um, that should fix our problems here. Um, on the north side, we're going to use Karen and Oscar. They don't need to be around anywhere else. Um, up the middle will be Jill. She'll take care of everything here. Um, I will actually ward her as well this turn with Miss. That way she can uh, keep going and not have to worry about the mages because there is a meteor I believe or ah, a blizzard there's a blizzard here so how strong is that 21 magic I have seven uh, I'll get seven from the ward so I'll be 14 so it's not too bad yeah and then uh, pretty much everyone else will be over here One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You don't have seven, right? You have six. So I'll put you there. Ashley can kill the first soldier and then everyone else can move accordingly after that. Twelve defense. Only do seven damage still with bulk. So he's still weak, but he's not like useless. In fact, I could probably just steal the bone race for now. We'll see. Alright, so let's get started. Before I start, I'm gonna pause real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, now we can. <clears throat> Are you alright? You look rather pale. Um, General Ike, to be honest, I. I know. The enemy general is your father, isn't he? How did you know? I overheard you talking to that man with the eye patch. I see. If you're having second thoughts, it's not too late. Do you want me to switch you out with someone else? No, I'll be fine, at least. I think I will. You don't have to be in the vanguard, just keep that in mind. Thank you. <laughs> Except she is my vanguard. <laughs> she is literally gonna fly straight up the middle. My lady, chill. No. Why does this have to be? Strength for these guys. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. 
goes to show how not good my paladins are leveling, right? Strength! Thank you! Strength and defense, straight up. Okay. I have a Night Ward and I didn't get speed. What kind of leveling am I doing here? Did I even use Astrid last chapter? I don't remember doing so, huh? My Ike is so pathetic. <laughs> you can shove him into the corner. Uh -huh. That's pretty funny. I'll take your vulnerability, thank you. And then I'll have my fun stabbing you with my little knife. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be a joy. Soren, move over here. Out of harm's way. floodgates to remain open until the Crimean army has been defeated. Sir, if we wait that long, all the neighboring farmland will be drowned. The locals are already quite upset. They may not abide with this much further. General! Enough, soldier. If you've got the time for belly aching, take your butt out to the battlefield and kill some Crimean soldiers. Captain Har, do you support this action? This is inhumane. Legs will be ruined. Dane citizens will die. Even if we claim that it's necessary in order to achieve victory, this is too much. This is Dane's way. Are you ready to disobey the king and be put to death for your troubles? I would rather die than kill innocent Danes civilians. If you're executed as a traitor to the throne, your parents and siblings will also pay. Are you still prepared? Now do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Go! Fight bravely. Yes, sir! To gain the trust of the king, we've become cruel and heartless. First hunting and executing the Lagoos, and now flooding the lands with these people call home. General Sharam. If someone hears you use those word, use the word Lagoos in this country, you'll be branded a traitor. Hmm. You're right as always. To live in this land where Lagoos prejudice is so virulent. We've had to seal away everything we know and teach our children to hate all subhumans. All that just to survive here. It's Ashenar's fault this country has become what it is today. And what a terrible miscalculation we made. Even so, I hated the idea of furthering the corruption of the Imperial Senate. I will continue to support your reasons for leaving Benyon. I wonder if Jill has, dis has distanced herself from the Crimean forces. I did give her her warning. Above all else, I would like to avoid meeting my daughter in combat. I pray that she does not take to the field this day. Knowing her temperament, talking with you would only increase both of, our s of uh, your sorrows. I have but one favor to ask you. Say it, and it will be done. Do not fight today. What? Only one side can win a battle. If we are defeated in the end, I want you to care for the survivors and their families. Yes, sir, Commander. Commander. <laughs> it's been many long years since you last called me that. May the fortunes of war be with you. Through all that's happened, it's been an honor to serve with you. Mm. Bye, Har. The priest is so brave, he ran right up to Oscar and said, Hello. <laughs> Blizzard.
And boy levels up by getting hit and dodging. Oh wait. There you go. Beautiful level. But oh, once again, no defense. Yeah, boy the defenseless. That's his title. <laughs> it's kind of sad, to be honest. You! Traitor! And Jill levels up. Magic. Okay, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I want strength, please. Aw, 2 HP short. It's okay. Ooh, we got mages. Elwin and Elwin. Uh, the mage has more magic than the sage. What the hell? Alright. Well, they're gonna be an issue because we don't have magic resistance here. Watch attack. 16 and 18. So Kieran's a little susceptible to them, so let's have him back off for now. I think I'll just kill the priest too. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's kill this guy. As long as the priest actually doesn't do anything, then it doesn't really matter to me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, should we should be fine there. And then Oscar, you finish what you started. Alright, down here, we'll can stab at this dude. gets a level up to level 6. Wow, what a beautiful level, my goodness. It's like, maybe I should start using her, because I've been kind of lackluster on using her, because I was just going to drop her anyways. But, after the past couple levels, my god, that's... Yeah, that's just absolutely amazing. I feel bad for not using her more. Can you kill him? No, of course you can't. But let's try and see if we can get a Aether. Aether? You suck, Ike. Ike sucks. Kill. As long as we're not in range of that paladin, I think we'll be fine. I'm just gonna use my sword. Okay, uh, these guys. Can you attack me there? He can, okay. Shouldn't be able to do too much damage, right? Perfect. So that's fine. I could do this and kill this one. While still attracting some of the other enemies. <laughs> that priest wants to hug <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hey, you're in the way. Lady Jill, is that you? What are you doing with the Crimeans? I'm sorry, I've chosen the path that's right for me. Ha! You would betray your own father? Shut up, what do you know? Oh, the sniper can shoot from afar. I guess he has a longbow. Oops, because I need to get a little closer. All the while, my magic, my ward is wearing off. I got hit again. Come on, Astrid. Dodge. Oh, what a crit. <laughs> Sending a dodge. And she levels up. Level 5. Strength. How many levels is that in a row that she's increased strength? Or how much strength has she increased in so many levels in a row? Like, oh my god, that's crazy. I think, what, ever since like level 15, she's increased strength every time? That's insane. Or if, if not every time, almost every time. I need to kill that bishop. Cause he's healing my uh, he's healing the wyverns. Alright, we got a couple more. Right, what is he using? He's using a physic no less. Honestly, I'd rather just I'd rather steal that. Ugh. I'd rather steal it. Hmm. I guess it's fine if he keeps using it for now, because we could eventually steal it. Let's kill this guy. I had a feeling I was going to miss. does seem like they move, though, so I could just sit there, perhaps. I will heal with miss, though. I should be able to reach. Yeah. I can no longer rescue her. Oops. It's alright. I just need to protect her from the north. Hmm. Apparently the north needs some help, so let's do that. Ow! I kill the mages. Oh, Oscar, why do you suck? Come on, good level. Three, and it's good stats. I'll take that. Nice dodge. Ooh, I'm still in range. I could shove, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's for the Cavaliers. 14 luck. It doesn't matter. It's got to hit me. It was 22 damage. So what was that? Six? I should be fine. I'm just gonna put I can range. Steel sword. Folks still over here stabbing this archer. Go do something else. <laughs> 
Racing level up. Let's go. Not the stuff he needed. Just gonna use this just in case. Oh, I guess I could use Soren. Oh well. Anyone else need healing? No. Alright, we should be good. Stop healing! I hate that when they go into heal mode, they have to always re uh, heal to max HP before they fight again. It's very annoying. Maybe I should kill the bishop. Ow. Did not expect him to go after Jill. I hope the sniper doesn't move. It's like, this was the whole point of making the hand axis, so I could kill everything, but I'm not killing everything because I don't have enough strength. No, he moves. Come back. Boy, you're dying. This one went after Oscar because he has the Killer Lance, which is effective against Calvary, even though he can't actually hit Oscar because the hit rate's like in the single digits. Hey, can you not get Aether? Like, what the heck? Do it! Just do it! Just do it! What the heck's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm probably, I'm probably just going to kill the bishop. Well, I guess I can't now because he's out of range. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is annoying. Okay. Uh, well, I need healing. I am out of range too. Oops. God dang it. I need Superbird.
Okay. Uh, well, there goes one hand axe. And I cannot reach the bishop without going even farther in. The only problem with that are these sages. Because if they, if I end up having someone here, um, not only can this guy attack me, but all of them are going to start attacking me. And I don't know if I can take all of them. Because my ward is starting to go away. That's 18 with these two alone. So, it's a lot of damage. Eighteen. That's twenty-five there. That's more than half my HP. So, kind of iffy. Um, I think I'll have to just pass another turn and just do more killing here. Probably kill his paladin because he has a chance to crit. Not to mention he's probably the most killer here. I need strength, Jill. Please. No, you took his elixir. Why would you do that? Look, this is oh. this is why you shouldn't give the enemies the capability to trade items. Look at this! Oh my god, this is so terrible. It's pissing me off, honestly. Oh my god, look, he's suiciding. Why are you? Su why aren't you healing somebody? I mean, this is technically what I wanted for him to die, but. Why, why aren't you healing somebody instead? That's that's so weird. God, they use the elixir. That's so annoying. He gets Aether with his uh, Slim Sword. That's hilarious. Ow. My Ike sucks. Okay, it's one thing that Jill is strong defensively and everything, but it's another thing that she should be able to dodge these guys. I don't know why she's not dodging anything. If I got that strength, that knight would be dead in one shot. Now I had to use two axes for it. So bad. Super bird. Alright. Uh, I'm just going to kill this guy and retreat. Honestly, I'm tired of using my axes up a little bit. Hey, I had provoke. Okay. Um, Vol, can you reach? No, you're out of range. Level up. All right, good level. Uh, here, show. Missed his first level as a Valkyrie. It's a good one, yeah. Alright, the North guys need some healing, so I'll probably send Miss that way. This priest is in my way. Just kill him. Just get him out of my face. So there's going to be reinforcements, so I definitely need them to stay here. Alright, 
Hold on, youngster. Who do you think you are? You can't just come barging into people's homes. Let me tell you something. You can ransack my home all you want, but you'll find nothing of value here. All your young men have been dragged off to war, and that's all that's left of the women and children. If it's gold you're after, take that scroll on the floor there. You may be able to sell it. It's just something I picked up, so I don't know if it has any value. But take it anyway, you dirty thief. Well, excuse me, biatch. <laughs> Alright, um, uh, sword user. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, for our range. Just have Ashley come over here. You, you filthy Crimean! Get out! Get out now! There's nothing in this shack that would make you happy. Oh, so you won't leave till you get something, is that it? Here, take this old staff. Now hit the road! You've no need to steal anything else from us. Will you take my life as well? In that last skirmish, my boy, my only son, you stole his life. Curse you, I hope you're satisfied. Uh huh. Screw you, old man. <laughs> no. That's so annoying. That is like. That right there is like the most annoying crap of this game right now. Because they can trade, and it's like. Why? Why is that a thing? Why does this exist? <gasps> he didn't kill him because he ran out of steel sword. <laughs> Stab him with the broken hilt. Come on, Ike. Yeesh. What's wrong with you? Why do you why do you be like that? <laughs> Stay there and take care of that. We're going up there. All right. The other guy's out of blizzard now, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. I guess Ashley can take care of this one. Soren can take care of the other one. Ike, just move up. Another strength for Astrid and a defense, no less. Wow. I don't know why she's doing so good, but she's amazing. Granted, I always have good Astrids for the most part, so it's not a big, big surprise, but the amount of strength I'm seeing from her is absolutely amazing. Granted, she does have the fire ban, so maybe not too big a surprise.
That level. Can't reach. Okay. I'll kill this one. Jill, you kill the other one. Strength, please. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's supposed to be like one of the best units in the game. You're turning out to be lame. You're still able to do stuff because everything in here sucks. But man, why can't you kill with strength? Uh, right now we can't do anything else, so I guess we'll just wait and see what happens. There's the reinforcements I was looking for. Oh, there's another lonely night. Alright. Since all my guys have bows, I should be able to kill you guys no problem. Oh my god, my Karen. Karen is weak, my goodness, Karen. What is wrong with you? Get a crit. Uh, oh well, whatever. Okay. Yeah, it's his only weapon. I could just have Soren destroy him, honestly. What's our bond give? Use it. It does give a boy. Okay. I'll have Soren just heal up. Like, why don't you go and try and kill him, huh? You're the enemy general, right? I am. I lead the Crimean army. My name is Ike. I know this is sudden, but can we end this battle? What? I'd like you to shut the floodgates. There's no need to involve the locals in our combat, is there? I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Until one of us has fallen, the water will continue to flow. If that's how it has to be, then I have no choice. But to prepare, prepare yourself. Ha! So that's the enemy general, eh? If he's the man he appears to be, he can die knowing Joe is safe. But we're gonna have Jill fight anyways! Father, we meet as enemies. There are no pleasantries to exchange. Ready your weapon, soldier of Crimea. You won't cha you won't charge? Then I will bring the fight to you. Ouch. They just had that little spat, and then we can still talk to him. Uh, as long as you have a A support with Miss, you will be fine. She, she won't betray. Father! Jill, is that you? Which is funny, because you just attacked her. Why are you doing this terrible thing? You must close the floodgates now. The fields will be lost. But there, there may still be time to save the homes. I cannot. Father! If you want to stop the water, you must defeat your father. That is the only way. What is it? There has to be a reason. I know an act like this can't be your, what you desire. Jill, you must leave. Please. If you can't do that, then slay me. There's no more time. 
Joining the Crimean army opened my eyes. For the first time, I was able to think about what i fight for. Until then, I only did what I was ordered. It was all for the fame and glory. Now I finally understand. I fight for those I wish to protect. I'm truly sorry. I see. You found someone you can trust in the Crimean army. Then I have nothing to worry about. Yes, even though we're opponents now, I am proud to be your daughter, now and forevermore. Then go, Jill Fizart. Be true to yourself and live! What's that? What was that? She scared the shit out of me. Oh, what the hell? He stunned me, even though I retaliated anyways. <laughs> Holy crap, that scared me! Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! I won't lie, that scared me a lot. I thought I was gonna die. Nairos deserves a drawn out battle. Come, hold nothing back. Bye. Woo! I won't lie, my heart skipped a beat when he did that. Har, the rest is up to you. Jill. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Scary. Alright, so just a couple units left. Let's just wrap this up. Where are you going? Two, three, four, five, six. I cannot. I cannot reach. Oh my god! I'm completely stunned. Look, I can't even move. Oh. Oh, it's not that I can't attack. I just can't move at all. Oh. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't remember that being the way it is. Quite interesting. Um, okay, well, that means I can't actually kill this guy. <laughs> oh well. That's a little bit of EXP, right? In fact, I can't do anything. Okay. Um, Kieran, get the skill. Or finish what you started. I should say. Alright, let's end this. I got everything right. I got the villages. Yeah. Alright, cool. General Ike, sir, the floodgates have been closed. Soren, what's the damage to the surrounding area? It's terrible. All the fields and homes have been completely destroyed. I see. I don't think this is what the enemy general wanted either, so why did this have to happen? It's heartless. What will happen to those who have lost their homes? Can we do nothing to, or anything to help them? We want to aid the people of our enemy? This is, t this is That is time and energy we cannot afford. Soren, take a portion of our supplies and distribute it among the locals. What? Are you serious? Our opponent is the Dane army. We have no quarrel with these people. Ike, I know you feel for these people, but this is war. We don't have... I don't know what we accomplished, Soren. But moving with on without lifting a finger is something I cannot do. I understand. I'd rather regret something that I had done than regret taking no action at all. I would like to help too. Perhaps I can aid the injured. Idiocy! Oh father. Chill, no matter the reasons, I'm the one who took your father from you. I can't use this war as an excuse. If you want your revenge... If you want your revenge on me for your father, I understand. You have that right. Once you've had some time to think things through, let me know what you will do. I'd like to have you stay with us, but it's really up to you. That's all I have to say. One, two, three, five in all. We're lucky to have that many. Captain Har, what are we supposed to do now? General Shehram is dead, and our homes are gone. What are we to do with our families? What do you want to do? We've lost any right we've had to stay here. So these Benyon or Crimean? 
Jared Shanahan was slain by Krang. Joining with them now is not... It's not possible. Then all you can do is return to Benyon. I doubt you'll get a hero's welcome, but an old friend in the Pegasus Knights... I have an old friend in the Pegasus Knights. Shall I contact her? Oh, God. 18 year long years. What does Ambient mean now? Don't say that. No matter what, I'm proud to have served under General Shanahan. You're right. It was an honor. And keep. Well, that's that. We gained some time by flooding the river, but it won't hold them for long. I knew that foreign cur was useless. It looks like the disciples of the battle will be fought near the capital. Preparations are complete, General Patrine. In order to ease command for you, Sir Bryce will serve as your deputy. Regarding strategy, it would be easiest if you spoke with him directly. Sorry to tell this, Anna, but I'm not the one who will be directing our forces to the, in the capital. Will it be the Black Knight then? Hmm. The plans must be adjusted slightly. I'll select someone else to act as deputy. No, not him either. His Majesty wishes you to direct the defenses, Anna. Me? I'm to take command of the army? That's right. You're mere fans of the world, General Anna. It's too much for me. I must confirm this with the king. Ah, what a rare sight this is. I've never seen you so flustered. Listen, if you wish to meet with his majesty, you must fulfill your duties. He's ordered that there be no communications until that time. <laughs> I'm a bit late. Well, if it isn't the big back night. It's been such a long time. You're always so very busy, aren't you? Here one day, there the next. Secret maneuvers are... They are proof of the trust of his majesty has placed in me. Anna, go to the east gate. We have a visitor. Very well. Is it the worm? Did he bring it with him? It appears so. He insists that he give it directly over to Anna, though. Huh. As long as it's ours, it makes no difference. When Anna returns, you'll be the one to take it directly to the king. Show care that it is not unwrapped on the way there. That could be... unfortunate. I don't need to be told that. More importantly, what will you do now? Me? I will... Anna, have you been well? Where is Loran's medallion? Right here. Take it, please. It feels so heavy. It's not, and it's not the, all the wrapping either. Could this be the chaotic energy and of an evil god? So, you can now return to the king Ashnar's side, can you not? No, not yet. What do you mean? I've been entrusted with the defense of the capital. I must face the Crimean army. No. Thank you. You've done so much for me. But now, it's 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 enough. Please reclaim your freedom. There's no need for you to follow Dan's orders any longer. And you? Do you mean to die? No, I cannot retreat. You don't have to slaughter the entire Crimean army, I will return to him. Yet he thinks nothing of you. That matters not. The only place I belong is at his side. I will most likely never see you again. I will pray for your eternal happiness. Anna, wait! Forget about me. That is my final request. Farewell, Nasir. Anna. Trader. Cool. Alright, so that's the f chapter 20, defending Tower Ega. And we move on to chapter 21. So, I'll, to wrap up this video, I'll do a little bit of dialogue here, and then that'll be it. During the battle for Tower Ega, Ike and the rest of his company come to a bleak realization. Wherever the Crimean army marches, the land becomes a battlefield. The damage is immersed. Warfare and filler wars claim homes, crops, and hope. Villagers seeking shelter and safety, safety stumble upon blindly through their snow. To them, there is no doubt that the Crimeans are an invasion force. However, the Crimeans have their own homeland to save. Focused as they are on the overriding goal, uh, they cannot even stop to help the innocent victims of war. The only way they can help the people of Dane is to keep marching. The faster they reach Dane's capital of Navassa, put an end to the war, the better for everyone. And so when we come back in our next video, we will be doing chapter 21, Without a King. The day in keep. Again. What? Are you telling me His Majesty has not yet returned? Yes, sir. We have sent many messengers, but we have yet to receive any sort of official response. The Crimean army is on our doorstep. What is His Highness thinking? If we want to protect the capital, we need our leader equal to one of the four writers, just in case. I'm sure the king has considered this. Lady Anna, I don't understand how you are able to remain so calm. Dane soldiers are the most elite warriors on the continent. In addition, our numbers are far superior to the Crimeans. And yet, they march on Navassa. This is the Dane capital. If there is any danger of it falling into enemy hands, we cannot let anything... We cannot let... Nothing stop us from protecting it. No offense, Lady Anna, but as a general, I do not feel your ray for such a vital command. 
I think you are exactly right. Then, when this command was given to you, why did you not firmly refuse? Did you really think that wise, General? Would you refuse a direct order from the king? Uh, let me tell you something that I have discovered. If we are unable to hold the capital, I do not believe the king will be all that upset. Ashnod does not hold a strong attachment to the country of Dan. What are you talking about? Do, do you understand exactly what it is you're saying? Yes. Ridiculous. There isn't a monarch in the world who would not be moved by the loss of his own country. Such a preposterous notion is beyond comprehension. General Kasatai, Kasatai, what a name. Do you avert your eyes from reality? Reality? Ah, what reality is that? All I see is your guesswork. Then tell me, why did the king suddenly order the invasion of Crimea? As sanctions for that nation choosing to ally itself with those evil and treacherous subhumans. On the surface, that would seem to be. But doesn't the action strike you as odd? To apply sanctions properly, it would be necessary to speak with Banyan first. Banyan is this suzerain state, and Crimea answers to her. We need Banyan's leave to make a formal declaration of war. Dane's disregard for that process made us a pariah in the eyes of our neighbors, and opened us to attack from all sides. And yet, not only did the king not do this, not only did the king not do this, but he chose to invade without warning. It was the worst possible strategy. Furthermore, once the king conquered Crimea through strength of arms, he seized the castle and set up residence, and now he re uses it as a stepping stone for an invasion of Gallia. Which means the king's goal is never to apply sanctions, or even defeat Crimea. If Ashnard moves against Gallia, it's easier to envision Phoenicia, Kilvis, and Goldea joining the conflict. And if that happens, Benyon would be forced to ally itself with Dayan rather than side with the humans, subhumans. Look where that leads us, a continent embroiled in war. Is that not the true desire of the king? If you consider it that way, your words do begin to make sense. Yet to accomplish that, the citizens of Crimea would have to be sacrificed. That would be an act of madness. Let's return to the topic at hand. The king has gained himself a new castle, and I believe he considers whatever land he occupies to be his kingdom. Dane and his people are already behind him. He need not look back. Ha! If the king wished to rule this world, he would want as much of the military strength as possible. To forsake even a portion of the strength he currently possesses willingly, why, it would be sheer folly. That doesn't matter. What is important is that we recognize the chance which Dane has been given. We must stop the Crimeans here. If we do not show the king our value, we are doomed. Make no mistake about it. This is complete lunacy. We will receive no reinforcements. We will hold nothing back. It is our only chance of survival. This... I cannot. Why is this? Be strong. The king has provided us and the capital with one final measure. We will use it to weather the storm. However, to use it, I need you, General Kasatai. Your cooperation is imperative. If you want to win, you must trust me. Understood. In this time, let us cling to hope, any hope we can. Lady... No. General Anna. I place my trust in you. <laughs> so this is the day in capital, eh? If we were, if we can just defeat King Ashnar, this war will be over. Ike, here you are. What is it, Nasir? Are you sure you have enough soldiers to lay siege to the capital? Your opponent is called Mad King Ashnar, after all. Who knows what sort of traps he has in store for you? He may indeed have something planned. Surely they've received reports of our advancement. Yet it's so quiet. It looks very able-bodied, man has been constricted into the army, and while women and children have been evacuated the area. We're not invaders. We wouldn't lay a hand on the citizenry. There's no way for them to know that. They do know what their army did to they do know what they do know what their army did to the people of Crimea, however. If they fear they will be punished for that, I'm sure they decide to err on the side of caution. What what happened to Crimean people? Surely on this, only the soldiers were imprisoned or killed. You truly have no idea how to rule a nation. Do you know what happens to a country that loses a war? Everything is destroyed. Homes, land, crops, everything. And the citizens? They're not even treated as human. Crimeans, especially those near the capital where Dane's presence is strongest, are treated worse than subhuman, than the goose. That's... why would they? That's horrible. The people understand this, which is why they pay for protection in the form of taxes. For the royals and nobles who are charged with protecting the people, there is no greater sin than to be defeated in war. It is the ultimate betrayal of the people's trust. Oh, by the goddess, I am a fool. Sorry enough! Princess, be that as it may, the majority of people want to see the royal family restored to power. They believe that you will help them reclaim their old lives and restore peace. And now it's time for us to throw down Ashnar and drive his army from Crimean soil. You're the only one who can do that. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, I do. 
and I will save the people of Crimea, I swear. As I've said before, I won't be turned away. If there are traps, we just have to fire our way through. This war ends here. Yes, I'm with you all the way. Hope it all goes as planned. I will do my best to make it so. I'd like to report the results of our last battle. Perfect. Jill, again. There are no deaths and no injuries. Yay. Alright, so I'm going to end here. Uh, I'm getting pretty tired. And we we're almost to two hours in this video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this two chapter video. Um, we're officially kind of out of the snow chapters now. I mean, we're still going to be fighting in the snow in the next chapter as well, but or not this chapter, but the next one after that, the bridge to Crimea. But that's not my concern. Pretty much all the Dan chapters are done, so that's good. Um, now we have to fight the capital, and that's pretty much it. Um, so far, everything's going great. No one's dying. I got a good. Uh, I got more good levels today than I probably did in like the past three videos combined. Probably, honestly. That's my. That's how I feel, but may not be true. But I, in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, comment down below what you guys thought. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, to keep up with my playthrough as well as my other content. Um, yeah, like I said, next time we we should probably be able to do this next chapter and the next one after that, but. This is another big chapter, so we'll see how long this one goes. Obviously, I did the dialogue stuff already, but we still have some things here. The info, supports, and some outfitting to do, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for that one, and I guess I'll see you then. Have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.